Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Minutes Midnight, this is Canarium, and we are deep, deep underground, across the ocean, across the sea anyway, took a submarine last time somewhere, then somehow my character thought he was way up in the sky. So I actually don't know where we are, I don't know if we're really far underground, really high above the ground, I just know we're kind of in a mountain catacomb -y kind of thing, but there's lizard people. There's elder things. We got all kinds of stuff going on here. We're going to jump right in, jump right back in it. I'm actually pretty excited about this game. I'm really digging the atmosphere and everything. It's a little creepy. Like I said last time, not very scary. Just kind of unnerving, I guess. Which is kind of the whole Lovecraft thing. It's not necessarily supposed to be terrifying. It's just... A creation of unease, as they say. Okay, so I don't have any recent journal entries or anything. We're still trying to find our... The main doctor. That's kind of leading this project. Although he told us... He was on the radio, I believe, and he said... Don't follow me. One guy was already dead. Two people were injured. star all right they have breakable wall this stonework seems weak is it secret time again Hope I don't piss off any old gods or lizard people down here. We're knocking down all their walls. Alright, put your axe away, buddy. Dead lizard guys. Keep half expecting one of them to like kind of pop off the wall. I guess that one did in that hallucination or whatever I had. A mask. Frog mask. Fish mask. Beautifully ornate metallic mask with a reptilian face carved on it. Does not indicate anything about the purpose it served in its day. That's like Shadow over Innsmouth shit right there. I would definitely say that that looks more fishy than reptilian, but... Where I came from? Oh, there's one of those fish masks on top of a thingy. I'm all kinds of turned around now. This looks like a door. It's that same face, too. Huh. Alright, on we go. Who 
these ivy like plants are blocking the way. Yeah, I'm going to need another crystal. This obelisk is dead. It's not working. It's not working. This is the way I came from. I think this is the way I came from. Yeah, because there's the little figure I had to draw. I still can't believe I got the achievement for doing that on the first try when it clearly took me like 10 tries. But I'm not going to argue with it. I'll take the achievement, thanks. Chad Gamer. That's me. Ah. Okay, so that... Alright. So, I turned the corner, that was there. Up there, I need a crystal. Ah, here we go. A lot of lizard people buried here. It is dead. Much like everything else around here. The way is shut. And the dead keep it. The way is shut. Well, I guess we'll go to the right fork first. Oh, it's like actual lizards, stone lizards. I haven't seen any living things down here except for myself. That was creepy sounding. Sounded like one of those coffins was opening or something. I gotta say, the sound is pretty good in this game. And it doesn't look too bad either. I think it's like 2016, 2017 maybe when this came out. It's been on my Steam wishlist for a while, so... Picked it up when it was cheap. There we go. Yes, it is depicted here. Our gateway out of this world. These reliefs clearly portray ancient Conarium, the thing I have been searching for my whole life. As much as I can understand, that one depicts a seemingly dead city as an ever living organism with lots of mummified bodies connected to the device. Incredible. Uh, 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 and the other one depicts an ancient coronarium which is connected to another one, most probably outside of this planet or maybe out of this dimension. Oh my. This is just marvelous. This guy's really into it. So that's a canarium. So canarium's like. That's obviously Cachulu. Dr. Faust, that's the name I was trying to think of earlier. Was that really A? The City of the Dead?
Oh, no ice breaking this time. Wonder what all the lights are pointing at. Are these all going to be like the eyes of a giant creature? That'd be kind of cool. Alright, now the obelisks are set up. Trippy. Uh, I can't bear the pain anymore. Guy needs an ad though. I'm not afraid of you. Ah! Did I? Dead lol. Maybe I gotta run. Oh yeah, that shit's after me. Ah! Son of a bitch. So I'm not dying, I'm like... I'm being caught at the hands of a nightmare. Time to go. Huh. You bastard. Ah, there's two of them. Uh, all right, so I got to plan out my way to go. <laughs> What's that what I got to do here? Okay, so... No, this is the way I came from, I think. And then all three of these. So the middle one goes to more dead guys, which is not ideal.
so if I go out of here to the right race all the way around up 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 go down this way and then go back here and then get through this area so I definitely gotta go that way God damn it. There being two of them really sucks. All right, we're going to figure this out. So do I have to go back? Maybe I got to go back out to the thing. Let's try that. Since I clearly can't go through that thing. Although maybe I just can't go through it because the ghost is here summoning shit. Run for it, Marty! Damn. So that's clearly not it. So...
damn. All right, let me think here. All right, let me think. I think I can outrun them. So if I can get them both to come the same way. Gotta go, Marty, gotta go. Oh, God, it's right behind me. I know it's right behind me. God damn it, go, go, go. What the fuck? of my disordered imagination nothing more right i'm sure you're fine dude these ivy like plants are blocking the way Back, you foul beast plants. This is an Elden thing. Elder thing. Elden thing. Elden ring thing. An ancient musical instrument with elaborate ornaments that are reptilian in nature. It still looks playable. One sec. Treasure or trophy. We got Kenny G back here playing for these Elden things. I gotta say, Elden thing, kind of, uh, like, not as cool of a name as you would expect, but. You work with what you got, I guess. Oh, I can just go around it. <laughs> I don't know if anybody reads this or if there is anyone still alive out there. I 
I've lost everybody who was on my search party. I am alone and afraid. Probably naked too. Even from the out of place echoes of my own footsteps that are reverberating along these halls of ages long silence. It is hard to tell if I am alive anymore. Those visions, sounds, the, the devilish scenes described in the reliefs I come across every uh, now and then. We were not meant to be here. Mm -hmm. Certainly seems that way, man. Dr. Faust! Dr. Faust, are you there? Answer me, please! This is not the Dr. Faust you are looking for. ornate sacrificial dagger wholly intact and still amazingly sharp even after all these years of desolation the elaborate carvings of the curious metallic surface signifying a reptilian nature yeah reptile head looks like very cool was sacrificed their own to the elder things. It's like, am I going to black out again? Like man made structures to me. I believe no more can we harbor ourselves at the safest shores for there are things that cannot be undone. This is the beginning of the game. Hello? Now where the hell am I? Huh. Was was that a sheer delusion? Dr. Faust journal entry. Having heightened my knowledge of the arcane arts, I find myself contemplating the subject of universals. Whether definitions exist in the nature of things or in mere conceptions, illusory and perhaps a sheer product of human language. Our means of receiving impressions are absurdly few. Now, our notions of surrounding objects infinitely narrow. We can see things only as we are constructed to see them and can gain no idea of their absolute nature. We have, we, so what lies between the woven limits of the flesh we've been trapped in and is it really possible to pass beyond at least once? What do we know of the world and the universe around us? For the last 10 years of my rough life, I've lived with the undulating echoes 
of those scorching questions that have rendered me a ghost amongst the flocks. But yesterday night, I finally got some answers. During the last session, Frank and I managed to get the printer to work. And even though the results are blurry, we have the first empirical proof of what we saw out there. I don't have any of the stuff I had. My trophies. Oh. We need to be cautious. Not to let anyone else see this grand collection. It could be extremely dangerous for both of us. Okay. What the hell? Deliberately preserved heads from Mesopotamian marshlands. Such cultivated minds kept in permanence by getting dried under the scorching sun with methods now lost to us. As well as the sun, they were believed to be symbols of knowledge. Hmm. A stuffed subadult Nile crocodile, one of the oldest creatures still living on the face of the earth. Not still living. A sacrifice ritual mask from Middle Africa. A medicine man mask from Northwest Africa. Missing a couple things here, bud. Am I, like, gonna be part of some weird death cult? Hmm. It looks like a preparation for a long trip. Indeed. Mask of an all-powerful moon goddess, esteemed by an eastern island tribe, now lost in time. It is from the private collection of the late, famous hermit, Klaus von Herdeth. Don't ask me how I get it. I have my ways. Uh-huh. Elusive mask from the submerged parts of Kogulin Islands. Cryptic mask with an untraced origin. This is called the Mask of the Beholder. Skulls from New Guinea that are believed to be housing protective spirits. Hmm. Wrong. Where the phonographs are in there? Dear E.W. Ross, How can we comprehend exactly how much time has passed since the erection of the earliest cigarettes of Samaria? What can we know about the time-worn Sphinx still standing on the Giza Plateau? We only justify the sheer ignorance of mankind by forcefully making us admit our instantaneous vibrations in the vast cosmos are but an illusion. Today I want to inform you about something that is equally as interesting as such edifices. That's something I presume you'll have a hard time believing. I finally acquired some information regarding the fabled cities of Rub al-Khalil, 
Kali, which are said to have been built in an undreamt age of certain wonders and rumored to have been intentionally submerged beneath the eternally shifting sands thousands of years ago. There's even more to the story. According to a reliable source, there should be depictions or information about the locations of ancient canariums buried within those halls. Within a few weeks, we'll receive a book containing the location of those cities and a map predating all maps known today, directly copied from the antediluvian originals. I'm sure you're excited beyond ima imagination and eager to discuss those findings in detail. But then we'll have to wait a while since I'll be away for some time visiting the oriental wonders of the old world. I'm sure you know what I mean. Hope to see you soon, Harley Warren. Woodland Lizard Spirit Mask. A serpentine ritual mask from India, which is said to have hypnotic effects on the one who deeply gazes into its eyes. Oh. Hmm. It sounded like the floor is hollow back there. I wonder if it is hollow. It's stuck. It's stuck. This is exactly the same room I've been in in one of my visions. Old friend. Well, you've told me about the shared nature of the experience of Canarium provides me it provides made me think about necromantic ideas of data inquiry. I'm sure you remember when I told you about why certain corpses never decay, but rest firm and fatten their tombs for a thousand years. I believe with some help from a certain acquaintance, I can provide you with some specimens. Specimens that would be beneficial for both of us, I believe. Eagerly awaiting your answer, H. Ward. Why does reading that shit make me yawn? Figure of an emperor penguin creature native to Antarctica. According to legend, this very djembe belonged to a learned drummer from Senegal who can speak with the dead by rhythmically beating it. Beat it. A native drum from the Asmat people of New Guinea. Their creation myth says Fumeripits made the first carvings of men and women. By beating on this drum, Fumeripits caused the figures to dance, bringing them to life. The world. October 1st, 6th, and 3rd. Lying outside the known space-time continuum, this is a dimension. This is a dimension to which the gate is knowledge, and the key is the canarium. As we start to shed our fleshly bindings, we start to perceive more and more. If we inquire by merely knowing and thinking on a subject matter, windows to relative, related time and space open up before our non-material selves, our minds. Now, what's better, we've grasped that the experiences in the sessions are shared, and even improved by all the attendees' personal knowledge. Even thinking about the possibilities it may bestow upon us in our quest 
for transcending the limits of our mortal bodies is about to make me crazy. But sometimes I wonder what has been keeping our sanity intact inside of this forbidden place. Behind the thick walls of pitch darkness surrounding us, there's something looming, whispering in my ears, in a language familiar, yet I cannot discern its content. Familiar, yet unfamiliar. Looks like something's missing here. Yeah, probably whatever he keeps in his study or whatever. I'm trying to go find a pry bar of some sort. This relic is from Madagascar. I have two versions, but this one is extremely rare. It is called Ur Hanalbi. Nobody knows exactly what it means, but from its symbolic depiction of a dark sphere inside a light one, it is thought that it could mean the underworld. I had it. Oh. Uh. I had bought it. I had it bought by an old captain friend who often visits that island for trading purposes. Okay. A phonograph cylinder. Luckily, just happened to have a crowbar lying around. When using Conarium, we are able to be seen as well as to see. For some time, I was detecting a conscious something, previously unseen by my rudimentary vestiges. Only lately, it becomes clear to me. Now it comes into every session, and seems to materialize more and more each time. I won't, uh, I won't attempt describing it, but only would say that it's not benevolent. From what I can get from its glowing semblance, which I believe is used as a way of communication, it can sense you only if you spend a considerable time within the sessions. I've read about it in the cursed Necronomicon and some elusive records compiled from deep-rooted Bedouin oral literature. Thus learned that it tries reaching the corporeal vessel to dominate and execute the wanderers of the beyond, such as ourselves. Me, you. But again, Against all warnings, I was a fool to believe that I can stop it with just simple signs and incantations. As a resort, we ended up lighting up the place with myriads of candles as well as electrical lamps. But still shiver with fear, with every noise our rundown enclave is causing. Isolated from ancient darkness of the night.
Oh, I found a metallic object. Eight pointy shapes on it. Bang! Zoom! I'm guessing. All right, gotta be a trick, or gotta be a clue somewhere. like a preparation for a long trip. Looks like something's missing here. More stuff to find? Wrong. You have a crowbar, dude. Nothing's locked. A lot of dream catchers in that window.
change if there's nothing there. Electrical discharge heads, electrical sound transmitters. Secondary component, primary component, interior mounted as a glow. Yeah, I don't still don't understand the point of the glove. keeps closing that door. Force it. There has to be something. Letter. Dear friend, judging from the tone of your last correspondence, I see you were shocked to hear how far I've been able to progress. You asked me how I did it, and here I, I tell you every detail. I believe you remember my mentioning 
to you a young gentleman named Frank Gilman from Miskatonic University. When I saw his thesis on the pineal gland, its developmental and structural evolution and decadence over the course of thousands of years, I knew I was one step closer to freeing myself from the chains of our corporeal elements or limits. Harley, that boy, was able to understand the underlying notions and spot the details I was unsure of. I contacted and only partly told him about my research so that he may not treat me as others did. As a man of science, I was sure that he would get anxious, and so he did. After days and nights of meticulous work changing the design of our machine, I originally built and fine-tuning it to adapt to our physiology, we managed to make the device work without rejection by the brain. It was not a design for humans, yet we managed to prepare it for us. Do you remember how the so-called scientific communities mocked me when I first told them about my theory of transcending the human senses using a mechanical device? <laughs> the hell with the... With the... They mocked me with the assertion... Or with the assertion that it cannot be tested by current methods of scientific inquiry. And here it is, giving enough empirical data related to the sessions. It's an alien sensation using it, seeing and feeling without the help of one's corporeal body. While floating easily in the ocean of darkness. I will write to you again in the coming weeks and invite you to personally see the results. E. W. Ross. So me, a researcher, PhD student, I, all I did was write a thesis of a theory, and boom, made it happen. There are people probably watching this right now going, it's so obvious.
there's nothing else changing. Aha! I did the pattern of one of the other puzzles, which I guess makes sense. I need to phonograph cylinder. This guy was phonograph cylinders. Okay. Quick break. Let me go to the restroom. You won't even notice I'm gone. See? Didn't even know. Lurking in shunned and forbidden volumes, I've been able to trace some parts. Speaking about a device of non-terrestrial origin that is capable of much more than I could ever imagine. Ancient cornariums, I will call them. Machines which are said to have been built long before mankind ever tread on this planet. The very source of the design I've used to make my own version of the machine. He made his own canarium. I hope the ladder doesn't give out under my weight. <laughs> Pretty far down. It's stuck. that ancient conariums have the ability to transfer one's mind outside through the endless vacuum into other receiving conariums. Just think about the possibility of shedding off the earthbound mortal coil to reach to the stars and yonder as a free agent to see the grand scheme above and beyond the third dimension. Being able to contemplate vistas and sense things you could never ever dream of with the help of the bodily sensations. Finally, we shall overleap time, space, and dimensions, and without bodily motion, peer to the bottom of creation. Hmm. Yes, I know how this sounds to you. This is incomprehensible, even for someone like me who spent almost a lifetime on such arcane topics. It is just sad to see. The knowledge has been out there all the time forevermore. And we fail to read between the lines. Uh huh. I remember this place and what we achieved here. Violating the laws of nature with the help of those dead bodies brought here secretly from only God knows where. Forcing them to cooperate by the means of the accursed necromancy and dreaming their dreams in those profane sessions to learn forbidden knowledge. 
Now I can distinctly see how pure madness once roamed here within our own shoes. It's your fault, man. I remember this place. All right. Skip to the top of this ladder. Exactly remember this device, but the projected image is the same with the star map I've seen on the dome on the underground level of the prehuman city. What was it that Dr. Faust was looking for? I don't exactly remember this device, but the projected image is the same with the star map I've seen on the dome on the underground level of the prehuman city. What was it that Dr. Faust was looking for? Locked. Hmm. Looks like a preparation for a long trip. Bugged. See that? Can I go back to bed? I'm sleepy. I don't know what my objective is now. I don't have any other items. Chulu? Hmm. 
Hello? I knew it. All those years of extensive research have not been in vain. Here it is. Lying dormant and standing still beneath the eternally shifting sands of Ubal Kali. For who knows how many millennia? Circular stone tablet with mostly illegible symbols on it, or one symbol which appears to be in the shape of the Canis Major constellation it appears to be repeated several times. Marked it down in my notebook. Okay, I think that's where we're gonna stop here. Pretty good, a uh, little bit of, of kind of filling in the background now, a little bit. So we know that Dr. Faust kind of started this whole thing by creating the Canariums, because he's trying to leave his body and go to other dimensions and stuff. It's kind of cool, kind of interesting stuff. But yeah, so hopefully, I think we're getting pretty close. Not hopefully, but I think we're getting pretty close to the end now. So maybe one or two more videos, I guess we'll see. Anyway, I'm Minutes Midnight. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.